These are puppets from the Segu region in Mali, and they were performed in a few different areas there. You have the Bonso and the Simono fishermen who said may have originated this puppetry tradition, and then it migrated to the Bamana farmers who were living nearby as well. The puppets are performed by youth groups twice a year. One of those times is in late May, early June, just before the rainy season starts. And it's a a tradition that evolves every single year. So existing puppets are brought out from storage. They're repainted, reclothed, touched up. But the youth groups also tend to come up with new characters and they'll bring those to the blacksmiths, which are the individuals who actually carve the puppets. And the youth groups will give their idea to the blacksmith. The blacksmith will carve it for them, and then the youth group will go ahead and clothe and paint the wooden figure like you see here. When I got to the BMA and I was able to wander through the vaults here, the puppets really caught my eye because the colors are just so different different. You can see here there's this female puppet that is it's a white woman, but her skin is Pepto-Bismol pink. And you've got this water genie that is canary yellow. The farmer too is yellow. And then not in this video, uh, we also have a Muslim man puppet. So each of these is a very specific character that may have reappeared and also over time may have gone out of fashion and not been used as much. The reason I'm really captivated by these colors is because usually, but not always, if you walk into an African art gallery, there's a lot of brown wood. There's some red and some white and some black, which are very important colors, but you don't always get these really vibrant colors in the galleries. And sometimes that is an artistic choice that is original to the work of art. Sometimes it is the choice of a later collector or dealer who decided that some of the accoutrements to certain artworks were not as necessary, were not as beautiful in their eyes. And some of the figures in African art collections may have been stripped of beaded necklaces or clothing made of different colored fabric. So these puppets really contrast with some of those figures that were either originally or later left bare of accoutrements and color. So to me, they were a complete shock in the vault. They're also really interesting to me because Baltimore has a very thriving puppetry tradition. You've got the fibers department at the Maryland Institute College of Art. You've got the Black Cherry Puppet Theater. And this is an art form that I think is really coming back and is establishing itself as a fine art. Whereas in the past, our society at least has looked at puppets as child's play. They're a low form of art. And the fact that we have local artists who are bringing this art form to the fine arts is really wonderful to me. And I love that we have representations of this puppetry tradition from other cultures at the BMA.